Hi everybody. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. If you're new here, I'm Norma. And if you're a return watcher, I'm still Norma. But uh, welcome back. And I have a theme going today and it's um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I went through that about 25 years ago. So I hold it close to my heart and far away from my body, if you get that. Um, so we're gonna do pinks today. And I really don't have a lot of pinks, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm just gonna wing it and give it a try. First thing we're gonna need to use is light magenta. You can see that color, it's a beautiful pink. It's by Artist Loft. And then I have uh, some primary elements already mixed up. In video two, I mixed up this color. It's called Ginger Flower. And it looks purple in the, in the jar, but it came out really pink. And this is called Passion. And it looks purple in the jar, but it's really kind of pink, if you can see that. So we're going to try that. And if I don't have enough paints on there, then I'm going to go ahead and use some wine and roses. And that's a beautiful dark purple. I love that one. I also mixed up one that looks pink in the jar. If you can see the color there in the jar. And it comes out, um, it's called Coral Berry, so it really, the name really does say what it is. It's very coral, orangey color. So I didn't really think I wanted to use that one, but I just left it out just in case. Uh, let me go ahead and torch my bubbles. I painted my sides and then I used enough paint to run it down over the edges. As you can see, huh, there is a lot of paint on the, on the pad. It's one of those puppy pads that really works well. And I thought I saw something in my painting. Great little skewer. I don't know what it is, if it's a little hair or you know, it just seems like you just can't get everything out of it. Now that was a little pink fuzzy. I don't know where that came from. So, make sure I got... That's good. Okay. Um, I wanted to tell you a few things first. If you can watch the video all the way to the end, that does help me. And um, if you click on to the title of the video down below, it opens up the comment section and detail section. You can put anything you want in your comments. Uh, I always appreciate feedback because I'm new at this and I don't practice. I don't do anything off camera. I do it all on camera. So uh, my very first one I did off camera accidentally because the camera wasn't running. But, um, and that didn't turn out too bad. My last painting, in case you saw the last video, um, was this. And it, it turned out pretty nice. What still isn't exactly what I'm going for, but I'm still working on it. And I did use some primary elements in here and some metallic paint. Now, the one before that, I did, which, look at that, they're really, really close paintings. Must be my favorite colors, huh? But uh, that's really good if somebody wants to put them, you know, in the same room or next to each other or on each side of a mirror or something. They at least have the right color theme going. So, um, let's see, what else was I going to tell you? Hmm. 
probably something that had to do with YouTube. I've been working with YouTube all morning. I've been doing my my edits from my previous video and I was just trying to figure out how to do things and how to move around. You know, there's YouTube and then there's uh, your YouTube studio and uh, I know, didn't know it was going to be this complicated, but here I am and I'm going to make it easy for you so you can come paint with me. And when we get to that point, I think what I'll do is I'll ask everybody, you know, well, I'll set up a, I have to get a lot more viewers, obviously. Um, over here is the subscribe button and the little bell comes up, you hit the all and then you'll get notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, all that rolls into how many views you you get and and providing I do I hope that we can um, I can put up a thing that we're going to do this color this color this color and everybody kind of do it together and then we I'll post or send or share and I can post them all on YouTube and see what differences we come up with I think that would be really cool but I also hope to bring people in to paint with me. Right now it's hard with the um, pandemic and it doesn't look like it's getting any better anytime soon. So let's get started. And first is the light magenta. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go down the middle like I have been doing don't know if one color is better than the other. Let's see. And this one I put in one of my own little jars to hold it because I did a made a lot of paint last time. Oh boy, that's a lot of paint. Okay, then I'm going to put some white down, the Amsterdam white. Uh, it's the uh, cell producing. Look at that, that's horrible. That's way too much paint. And I don't know how or why. So I got one, two, three, and hopefully the pinks will end up different shades of pink. But I think I, I did put that purple down there. I think that I think I'll just stick to those one, two, three main colors and the white. And then, of course, I'm going to add some sterling silver by uh, Deco Art. Always adds a little shimmer to it. OK. This is seems to be going fast this time. And I'm going to take the gloves off, which I shouldn't do. But I hate to get the hair dryer all nasty. Now we're going to blow it around and see what comes up. Now you see there, I, I got what I, I like, but it still felt to me like it wasn't moving. So this is my 
my flow acrylic that I use on the pillow paint. I don't know if that's going to help or not. So, a couple big bubbles. do too bad but it certainly certainly didn't move enough for me I'll just put that down there a little bit see if I can get a little bit more color in here it's always fun to mess with a little bit and then you, you got to be careful because you don't want to ruin it but no such thing as ruining when all you have to do is scrape it and start over. That's why I always make a, a little extra paints there. Now I put my Amsterdam on there. I, I think I just may have realized this time that maybe my hair dryer doesn't blow enough, hard enough. It's a, a Con Air. 1875 so should be okay it does have a button it gives a little more power but okay I'd say this is pretty much a fail for what I was going for. I will try and use my straw here and uh, let me try a different one. I have one of those little metal straws. I wonder how I could have done this so I could have made a ribbon. Maybe I should have poured it like that. Oh, that had been cool. I see a hair. I lost it. Talk on it. I guess the torch did that well I'll keep coming back out and looking for it because the paints will roll off I didn't get very many cells either and that adds a few more in there I don't know if I'm doing more harm than good, but it looks all right. Nope, it doesn't work for me that way. Now I just dip my head in it. Well, it's not too bad. I think that I should have left my gloves on because I had to dip my belly in the paint, I think. Um, I'll put my gloves back on real quick and kind of move it around and see what we come up with. That's what I did on the other ones because 
I'm still not getting the uh, whatever I whatever it is I'm looking for. I I I see that I just want to blow it out and have it look more like a flower pattern or. And since I don't have a lot of paint on here, which I thought I had like a whole bunch of paint. There's the. There's the hair. Ta-da. I think I'm just going to leave it because it's just going to spread some more not it's not going to turn out the way I want it anyway so and just leave it like this and I have said this before scrape your sides because the drips will continue to pull the paint off of the canvas it acts as like a weight And it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. And I did um, level it. So even though it doesn't look like I did. Because I see it's like pulling away, pulling off of here. And since I didn't go over on the edge there with my colors. I'm not putting very much on there, so that's why I'm kind of just doing it a little bit at a time. And that should be good. The paint just really dries flat anyway, so even though you don't see like you've got anything on there, um, it still has paint on there, and when it, the rest of it dries, it dries so you can see the canvas anyway. I think I'll give myself a little... A little runoff on that direction. Messy, messy, messy. It is a messy hobby. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that. And if I decide I don't like it at all, I'll scrape it off and start over again. But I think I'm just going to leave... Uh, the pretty pink. I have a daughter that loves pink. Don't you, Tracy? So, um, she can take this one home. Well, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for coming to paint with me. I hope you'll come back. This was quick. Um, not a lot of instruction this time, but the first two videos do give you that instruction. The first one tells you how to uh, mix your paints. The second video tells you how to mix your primary elements. Um, it comes in little jars like this. See the little dot of color on top? I'm doing that to all the jars so I can tell how they come out because they come out so different than what they look like in the jar. So everybody, Mm. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Try to watch all the way to the end. And I'll see you next time. Right here. Make sure you come paint with me. Bye.